Hello guys, this is for everyone who's sitting for the NEET and INCT 2025. So I'm going to talk in this video, a blunt truth, no sugarcoating thing. So if it hurts any one of your feelings, apologies first of all. Because I feel that there should be someone to tell, knock your head and tell, boss, this is not how it is done. You have to work hard, you have to work sincerely, you have to keep struggling every single moment to reach the top. And again, work more to maintain yourselves on the top, right? So if you're first time, I'm Dr. Anjit here. Click on the subscribe button. Let's learn more about medical curriculum, medical exams, and the love of pathology and medicine, right? So let's go back to the video. So I'm going to talk about NEET and INICT 2025. The biggest query is when the exam is going to happen. There's been a fake notification that it will happen around June 15th. May be true, may not be true. But one thing which is assured is till March 31st, the calendar that NMC has officially announced, it's not going to happen till that time. So it's going to happen after that. INA is going to happen in the May middle, right? So your target, if you are preparing for this exam, your target should be March 31st, never beyond that. When I say target, not the first reading, the finish line. You have to be exam ready. You have to be exam ready by May, March 31st. Okay, like I said, not the first reading or second reading, exam ready. So if worst case scenario, till March 31st, they are not given the calendar. April 1st, they say, I'm going to keep the exam. You are ready again. If it happens by April 30th, you have 30 day window to revise. If it happens by May, again, I have more time. By June, I have more time. So please make sure, consider your exam to be on April and be exam ready by March 31st. So whichever phase you are, I want you to sit, jot down in a book and say, okay, this is what I'm going to do in the next three and a half months. And in this video, we'll talk what I'm going to do in the next three and a half months of the preparation so that I can be exam ready by March 31st, right? Okay. Now, INICT is going to be in May, March, May middle, right? And neat, we don't know. So make sure you give this INICT with an honest attempt. Don't just give for a namesake. Make sure you prepare your heart and soul for an INICT. Who knows, you may be in the top 10 of INICT, right? So give INICT with every vigor what you have, with the same intense preparation. Don't think that I'm not from this uh, prestigious institute, I might not get into INA. Never, never. You will definitely get into INA if you put a hard work. The institute where you're coming from, the country where you don't, the MBBS, is not going to bother for the INACT merit list at all, fine? Now, uh, there are definitely few people who are saying that, sir, I'm a first attempt or my second attempt or my third attempt, right? I'm going to repeat myself this year. What do I do? Uh, uh, I'm a fresh graduate. I'm going to give it for the first time. So what do I do? For everyone who is considering that you have not done in the last time, please stop doing that. Please don't be harsh on yourself, right? So an attempt this is very, very important. An attempt. I have attempted honestly for a NEET exam or an INACT exam. When do I call it? And when do I call myself as a repeater? Because this has to be there in your head very strongly because if it's not there, it's going to hurt you more and more and it's going to pull you down more and more. If you have read for seven, eight months honestly, without a gap, when I say without a gap, a one or two day gap is fine, not a week or two weeks gap. Six to seven months honestly, without a gap, and every day struggling for at least five, six hours in the library, reading things, one, two hours MCQ preparation, at least 10 GT in this eight month duration or seven month duration and review every single GT and discuss among your friends and slowly improve. That is an honest attempt. If you've done that and then if you've not got the rank, call yourself a repeater. Otherwise, you're not a repeater. You're not done the work properly. That's all. Someone has to say this. You're not a repeater. You're not done the work properly. If you read for two months at a stretch, one month, gone. Some random thing. Then read for eight months, heart and soul for 10, 12 hours a day, but didn't do MCQs, gone. Did only MCQs for entire eight months, just reviewed, reviewed, reviewed. Didn't read the theory, didn't read the concepts, gone. That's not to be considered as an attempt. Please do remember this. It's very, very, very important. Okay? So if you've done an honest attempt, then yes, call us a repeater. We'll fine tune it in the future videos, right? So whoever it is, both of you, you are the same three and a half months. So what you have to do for the revision? I'm going to talk about revision and this is very, very important for you because most of the people, students and your seniors are reading the entire book again and calling it I've done with the first revision. That's not what revision is. Revision is not equivalent to rereading, please remember. Revision is fine tuning. 
that's very very important when you don't fine tune you can go from 0 to 90 you cannot go from 90 to 95 or 95 to 99 fine tuning is very 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 important right so what do i mean by that is when you read revise for the first time i want you to color code as green yellow and red areas just tick it with green pen yellow pen red pen what do i mean by this so let's take pathology for an example you definitely know necrosis caseous necrosis coagulated necrosis liquefaction necrosis that's green don't go and spend half an hour in that you already know green topic requires a brush that's all just a quick refresh just read it within a minute that's enough for green topics you know what is green topics for you what is green topics for me it might not be the green topics for you yellow is something which i have to read carefully okay yellow is something like i know this I mean, I'm not very confident about it. There may be a concept of hemolytic anemia, leukemia, lymphomas. I know it. I'm not very clear about it, right? So reread them, spend some more time in them. Make sure when you go for the second revision, this yellow has to turn to green. If it is not turning to green, your rereading or revision has failed. All the yellow topics, the second revision should go to green. So you'll have a chunk of green topics, second revision, just quick brush. And what do you mean by red? Red are new topics. See, when you say new topics, uh, it might be a PYT, but you're not concentrated much in the first reading. Might be a very rare PYT, right? Let's take a look at it. Might be very rare uh, systemic pathology topic, which you might have not covered intensely. Take it as red. So red, I want you to watch a video. Any video, I'm okay with it. Every doctor here who teaches is amazing, right? Any video is fine with it. Whoever you like, go with the video revise the video, read the video, and make sure at the end of the first revision, the red becomes yellow. So next time, I will read them from the notes and not go back to video. Because in second revision, there's no requirement for any one of you to go to a video, rapid revision, whatever it is, no 2x, 3x. The note, the faintest ink is stronger than the strongest memory. That's more than enough, right? So this is what I want you to do in the first revision. So what do you do in the second revision is very simple. In the second revision, I'll have a chunk of green topics, right? And there'll be a chunk of yellow topics. Green should become at least like 70% of the topics should become green. Maybe 30% of what is in red will become this, right? Yellow. And red should be minimal, less than 5%. Obviously, new, new topics will keep adding. So we can ignore this red in the second division. So this yellow, again, concentrate on it and push it here. So in the last one week of your preparation, the chunk of whatever subject it is should be in the green, like 90-95% should be in green. Quick brushing is more than enough. If at all, if you struggle something, then go back to the videos. Otherwise, no videos for the revision 2 and revision 3, right? This is the thing which I want you to do for next three and a half months. So what I am going to do for you in the YouTube channel is I'll keep updating tiny tiny topics. I've been doing PYTs on and off. I'll make sure we'll do PYTs more regularly and we'll ace pathology. For pathology, I can take away for NEET and INICT. We'll st soon start a telegram group for uh, NEET and INICT aspirants in the MEDAT channel. So come over there, we'll guide you each and every step because I feel that you are smart students. You are very hardworking. What is lacking is a proper guidance, someone to handhold you from point A to point B. MEDAT will definitely take care of you that, right? See you soon in the next video. If you have any comments to put, put in the comment box. Let's learn more about medicine pathology in a stress-free manner. See you soon. Bye-bye.